for those of you who don't know uh, Unrest, uh, we are uh, a research institute based in the UN, uh, autonomous, uh, not governed by member states, but governed by an academic advisory board. And since 1963, we've taken forward research on areas of social policy and social development. Um, that need is still very much with us today. Um, and in the context of the newly agreed Agenda 2030 on development, a lot of our work is uh, arranged around topics that we believe will be very important to meeting the new set of goals that governments have agreed to, including on social protection, uh, the role of uh, women and girls, and the nexus between uh, environmental policy and social policy and economic policy. As I mentioned, there are very strong recommitments to social protection in Agenda 2030. And that's why we thought it would be interesting to have this event uh, this afternoon. Now, the proposal on basic income has been around for quite some time. And UNRIST doesn't have a position on basic income, but we have done lots of work looking at uh, how schemes that are similar to it or partially reflect its principles are being rolled out in some uh, of the countries that we look at, particularly in the Global South. Now, the Swiss vote on basic income provides us with an opportunity to bring that debate together once again and consider the pros and cons. And I think, importantly, the pros and cons in different uh, country uh, contexts. Now, in uh, keeping with the UNRIST spirit, we like to tackle uh, topics that are controversial uh, in a fair and open way, because we believe debate is the best way to get to the bottom of whether something is a good idea or not. And the panel that we've tried to put toge together today uh, will probably present differing views on the merits or, or not of uh, basic income.